Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. We're going to take a look at a certain type of non-verbal reasoning question that we call transformations. The reason we call these transformation questions is because you're given a figure on the left and then an arrow which indicates a change in the shape or a transformation and it becomes the shape or the figure on the right. Now our job is to build up a list of rules. How is this shape being changed into this shape here? And once we've built up those rules, we can apply it to our given shape to find our answer. So the best way to go about this is to isolate one feature at a time in our first shape to see how it changes as it moves into our second shape. Now looking here, I can see that we are given a circle on the left that is not shaded in. And after the transformation, it becomes a circle that is shaded in. So I'm going to apply that rule to my shape here. I'm given a triangle on the left that is not shaded in. I know based on the rule here during this transformation that this triangle must move inside of the given shape and change its color. Looking at our answers, I know that I need a black triangle. So I'm going to get rid of A because that is not shaded in at all. And I'm also going to get rid of E because that is not shaded in either. We know from our first rule that we've got here on the left that our triangle has to be black, therefore it is B, C or D. But of course the question is not done there. We need to finish it off by looking at what happens to this part of the figure. Here we're given half a pentagon. Now hopefully you can see how this pentagon here is double this shape. It's almost been folded out to create this pentagon that we can see in the new shape. So we're going to do the same over here. We're going to take this triangle and we're going to imagine folding it out. And hopefully you can see how that will become a triangle facing downwards. So now we know we're looking for a shape like this, we can use deduction again. It can't be B because the arrow is pointing up, so we're left with either C or D. At this point, we should look at the two options we've got left. Which one best fits the transformation on the left for our shape here on the right? And hopefully you guys can see how the small shape ends up right in the center of the new one. So during our transformation, this triangle is going to end up right in the center of the new one, and it's going to be shaded in. So drawing as I go really helps me to visualize this question. We can see, therefore, the answer is C. So here's another question, this time we've made it a bit more complicated. And as you can see, there's lots going on, but let's use the technique we talked about. Let's look at the first transformation and isolate one feature at a time. So the first thing I notice here is that this shape here, like a C shape, has been rotated 90 degrees clockwise to make this shape here. So I'm going to do the same to my shape that I've been given. I've got a triangle pointing that way. It's going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So I know it's got to look like this. Therefore, I know that I can get rid of some answers now which cannot be true. It cannot be B, it's not following the same transformation. It cannot be D, it's not following the same transformation and already, I have got rid of two possible answers just from looking at one feature. Straight back into the initial shape, let's look at a second feature. Now I notice, in fact, that as it rotates, the shading of the squares also is inverted. That means it swaps around. So where the square used to be white, it's now black, and where it used to be black, it's now white. So I need to do the same to my shape. So I know that the outside triangles of my shape are going to have to be white, because you can see here the corners are black. So I'm going to get rid of any triangles here, which have the outside triangles as uh, black, and that means I can get rid of E. So again, I've got rid of an answer, only two left now. So let's look at the two answers we've got left. Which one could it possibly be? Now hopefully you guys have noticed in the first transformation that these lines don't disappear. They quite simply become dotted and swap sides, but they don't disappear. So looking at A with absolutely no lines, it doesn't make sense for this transformation to include the disappearance of the lines. It cannot be A, we need to keep them there. It therefore must be C. Popping up on your screen now is a third question for you to have a go at, at home. I want you to use all of the techniques we've talked about in this video. So look at your first shape. Isolate one feature and find out exactly how that transforms moving into the second one. Try and apply that rule to your given shape and then as you work through the answers, use deduction to get rid of the wrong ones. Hopefully by the end, you will arrive at the right answer. And if you think you've got it, leave us a comment in the comment section below. We really hope you found that useful and can apply those techniques independently when it comes to the real test. Be sure to look at our older videos for other question types and stick around for more to come in the future.